All right, hello class. Today we're going to go over a tutorial for chapter 10.2, which encompasses regression primarily. And I'm going to go over a few of the questions that are a bit math heavy and that also require some stack crunch. Okay. And so when I mean math heavy, I mean kind of like you, you need to know a little math essentially, but nothing crazy. Okay, so first question here is basically it's giving you a lot of information about some relationship between arm circumferences and heights, and it did a statistical test on these pairs of data. It's giving you the mean of the x in centimeters and the mean of the y in centimeters, and then it gives you all of the statistics here. And what we can see so far from the statistics is that it's not statistically significant. We have point, a p-value of 0.6. And it says that our significance value is 0 0.05, so not even really that close. All right, now, and asking us to find the best predicted value of y hat of height, given the adult female with a circumference of 37 uh, centimeters. Now, uh, the trick to this is, is that it's asking you, or what you may think right off the bat, is that, okay, 37 centimeters is what I'm trying to solve for y hat, which is here of this equation that they give you, right? Now, so you might kind of jump the gun and then immediately put 37 here, where this x is, and then just plug it into the equation and solve for whatever y hat is, and then you put it in here. The first thing you need to check for before you do that is to make sure that the p-value is less than 0 0.05. If it is not, if it's not below the significance level, then you can't use this equation, actually. It's not going to be the best predicted value, right? So that's what it's asking for here. In the event that your regression model comes out to be not statistically significant, right? So you are unable to reject the null, then you go with whatever the average of the y value is and so that's what i filled in here and that was the correct answer okay so before you do any math make sure you check your p-value is it statistically significant now in the next question it's basically a kind of reformulation of what you did previously but now you can see here that the p-value is very significant right it's much lower than our significance level of 0.1 so now it's asking us, okay, find the uh, best predicted value of y hat for an adult who's 140 centimeters tall. And in this case, what I do is I then take 140 centimeters and I plug it into my equation here. So I do 1.04 times 140 plus minus 105, right? And so you can rearrange that however it is. And the outcome came out to be 40.6 and that's the correct answer here okay and so that is not what the average value is here right so I would only give the average value of kilograms if in fact my p-value was greater than my significance level but I didn't need to do that here okay I hope that's clear that's going to be it's kind of a trick but if you know what to look for first go through the steps you're gonna be fine Okay, here we have a little data. I'm going to open it in Stack Crunch. And it kicked me out initially, so I'm going to sign in. I'm going to do that. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, here's the data. I know I'm doing regression, so it's going to be exactly like what you did for, uh, what do you call it? Correlation. So X and Y, put them there. Uh, I'm just finding out I don't have to worry about any of this. I don't have any hypothesis I'm testing here. It's uh, just asking me to get the equation compute. Here's my equation. At least the equation that it gives me here. I haven't even looked at any statistics yet. I'll double check. Yeah, looks good. So it's 3.6. That's where my intercept is going to go. And 1.4, that's where my slope is going to go. Check answer, nice work, okay. I can then look at the data here. It looks something like this, roughly. Great. And then here, and this is essentially, you then are going to interpret your findings. We'll move on, that's for you to do. Aha, so we already had this before. Uh, this in the previous homework. 
Um, it's basically going to ask you for that equation again. Oh, we'll have to do that real quick. We'll do that real quick just because uh, I want everyone to make sure that they don't get hung up at this part because it is an annoying part. Okay, so for my question here, it may be different for you. I'm going to fill in all of the x values first. I'm going to call this x. I'm going to call this y. Okay, important first steps. Now what variables you're looking at? I'm going to go 2. 2. Now then I'm going to go 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, 7. Oops, see, oh, I'm making mistakes. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure that each of my X's is paired with the appropriate Y, two and two. And then for five, six, seven on this row, I'm gonna do all fives, all sixes, and all sevens. Five, 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 six, 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 seven, seven, seven. All right, I am going to do the same thing I did before. X, Y, compute. Close this now, make sure I did the right thing. That looks right. Okay, what's my equation here? 1.64, round to three, 1.647. That's my intercept, 1.647. And point seven zero six, right? I'm gonna round, rounding this number here. Check answer. Good job. Okay, what is the equation of the regression line for the set of nine points when it's asking me to remove point two two? Clear. Oops. Let's see if I just can delete it. Ah, of course not. Delete, delete. Okay, we're gonna go back, do everything again. X, Y, compute. Let's make sure. Yep, just a box of points. What is the e equation for the regression line of the set of nine points? Six. That's all it's asking for. It doesn't even give you that. So everything is six. Well done. Continue. Here you can choose the correct description. So as you can see here, this is my aggression line. It doesn't even have a slope. As you can see, it's just a straight line. So it just has an intercept of six. So every predicted value of this box of points here is six. Okay, that looks good. Let's go forward. One more here, here it has a kind of Pearson correlation coefficient r. This is looking at the critical value for r, or rho, small r. I'm gonna close this out, I'm gonna open this up in StatCrunch again. Stat, regression, simple linear, nothing crazy, systolic, diastolic, right? Make sure that we're putting them in the right way. Systolic reading of the independent x variable systolic x x variable good compute where's the regression line minus around the two decimal places minus seven point seven four plus point nine two point nine two right round to two point nine two Check answer. Okay, wonderful. What is the best predicted diastolic blood pressure? Let's make sure that's significant. Ooh, mm -mm, not significant. Okay, so that means we're just going to then calculate the mean of diastolic, because that's our y variable here. Summary stats of a column. I just want this one, I just want the mean. Let's compute it all, I guess. The mean, 80.125, round to 1. 80.1. Well done. Okay, see, I didn't fall for that trap of immediately using this equation. Let's go back to that, make sure we know. I did not immediately use this equation. Why? Well, let's go, I'll tell you why. Let's go back here. Results hidden, simple linear. Here it was. This was our equation. We almost used it, but the p-value. 
expand this. The p-value was not below our significance level, of which we didn't really use here. All right, it didn't give us a significance level, but we could tell that it was definitely higher than even 0.1. So it was not statistically significant, and therefore we had to reject. And piercing correlation coefficient. I think what it was even expecting you to do was that since there was a sample size of eight, you would go to eight, depending on, it didn't give us an alpha level. So that's a little confusing. If you get confused on that part, on this question, let me know. I would totally understand. Total call, the critical value for rho for small r would be 0.7 for an alpha of 0 0.05 or 0.83. The Pearson correlation coefficient here was below both of those, so we did not surpass this critical value here. So we knew it was not statistically significant in either case, but nevertheless, we would like to know which case is which. But regardless, we got lucky and it was just not statistically significant enough, even for an alpha level of 0.1. And so we just went with what the average was of our diastolic blood pressure here. And I was able to do that pretty easily, again, just using the summary stats. Okay, I think that's everything that's involved with uh, stat crunch and math within this section. If you have any questions, need any help, please feel free to reach out. Thanks. See you later.